You may wonder why I'm dressed in this outrageous outfit. Well, it's October, and where I'm from, everybody dresses up for the entire month. Not really, but that's all I got. I got an email from a guy named Noah L. who said, Jimmy, I really want to believe all of this, but there is a common, legitimate question. If they're trying to hide things, then why not just, just not publish the images in the first place? Great point, sir. Thank you. And the answer is quite simple. If they were to disqualify every image from the Curiosity rover that contained damning smoking gun evidence, there wouldn't be many pictures left to publish. You see, nearly every image that contains any landscape at all has evidence in it. The only thing they'd have left to publish would be, say, close-ups of just a few meters. People don't want to see that. People want to see the countryside, for heaven's sake. And it's people who ultimately foot the bill for all of this. You do understand that, right? What do you do if you happen to be them? Do you substitute these Mars images with Earth images that look like the Martian landscape? No, I believe that at some point, the decision was instead made to manipulate and then release the actual images. But to do so in a manner that is deliberately inconsistent. This orangey-brown, contrast-starved image is fooling you. Do you feel foolish? I mean, you've been had and at your own expense. Now, we'll come back to this in a minute. The world is so overwhelmingly brainwashed that most people see nothing but a field of scattered rocks here. Well, I contend that nothing here is rocks. This is debris. These are remains. Oh, this mosaic has a lot hidden from us by means of post-production blurs and whatnot. But you can still see an area littered with debris, which includes metal from some type of enormous widespread disaster. In a previous video, we presented this as being water running through here. And this as being a possible bridge crossing over that waterway. But we no longer believe that that is a bridge. After further examination, including adding some depth of field, it becomes apparent that this is the remnants of something much closer to us. Still artificial, but not a bridge over that water. The rest of the structure is likely strewn amongst the area. Sadly, your belief system is imprinted so deep within your being, your mind will likely try to override what you just saw. This mosaic has been looked at quite a bit, but needs more attention still. Not only are those not boulders, that is not a sandy rise in the middle. That is completely faked, Photoshop style. In the midst of all the debris is a rectangular clearing suggesting a foundation. Now some will say, oh, well, that could be anything. Really? On Mars? Like what? Maybe a Martian tomato garden? It is embarrassing how so many of our own species refuse to properly process the obvious. Ruins that include a geometric frame? If this were an Earth-based image, there'd be no argument. Look up the word denialism 
And while you're at it, also look up sea monkeys. Well, there's no argument here. That's a pile of rubble. However, doesn't this usually indicate that something has either been bulldozed into a pile or crumbled straight down onto itself? And is this just a pile of mere rocks? Oh, look closer. It looks more like masonry with motif. None of this is just rocks. None of it. A typical detractor's comment would be, Notice how these wing nuts always show us nothing but blurry images. Just give me one clear image of something artificial and I might believe. Well, how clear does it need to be, wing nut? Things become ridiculous at this point. You see, you see this on earth, you do not question. That's a piece of statuary. Everything you see here is the remains of an obliterated civilization. I wonder if that civilization was smothering in its own similar belief system when this devastation happened. Some people had some trouble seeing this in a previous production, so I'll try and help a bit here. But it looks pretty clear to me that this cannot be natural formations. Deny what you see at your own risk. This doesn't happen naturally, folks. Another debris field. That is not a rock. Neither is that. Nor that. Nope. None of it. Zero. Now, this wouldn't seem interesting to you at all, would it? There's rover tracks back there, I guess. Good for the sake of size reference, yes. And maybe it wouldn't interest you to know that all of this has been altered to hide something. And if you don't believe that, it's fine. But what about this? Are you going to deny and thus ignore this? Because that's exactly what you are expected to do. There's not a single rock in this image. Look around in the rubble, and what shall ye find? Rocks? Now, all those images and mosaics were taken with the high-definition color mast cam camera. Uh, here is an image taken by one of the two nav cams or navigational cameras. No color and low resolution. As you can see, it pixelates quickly. Usually, these can be released pretty much just like they are. Another nav cam image of the terrain and these distant objects raise suspicion that they may be of an artificial nature but the resolution inhibits further investigation, at least from this image, so they just release these just like they are. Believe it or not, this is a mass cam image. That's right, the high quality color camera. 
You know, it's tough enough seeing certain things in two-dimensional images, and when someone adds a ridiculous contrast-killing filter, it makes it even worse. Now, there's this guy from Sweden by the name of Thomas V. who contacted me saying that once the eyes have been calibrated, all I see is manipulation in every image. It's truly amazing. Well, yes it is, Thomas, and so are you, because you describe this phenomenon very well. As we recover definition to some of these objects, the color may not be correct and some things may even appear cartoonish at times. Still, it demonstrates that hidden within this image is a wasteland of debris and ruins. These images are released to the public, but only after varied methods of filtering, skewing, and blurring are applied. Overall, this creates a convoluted mess in the minds of the average brainwashed human. So they safely return to what they are taught by their belief system and refute all of this. Are you still one of those humans? Owned by those who likely laugh at how easily you are deceived while they continue to use your money to play with these expensive toys, live nice lives, and continue to not show you the truth of what is on Mars and beyond. Are you? How clear does it need to be? If you actually still believe these are coincidental natural rock formations, then you are under a dangerous spell, friend, and they laugh at your gullibility. And if you are under that spell, regardless of your academic prowess, you are likely laughing at me and others like me. But remember, they are laughing at you. And they are also laughing at me because they know that my attempts are, in reality, mostly futile. Therefore, I am here for the 1% of 1%-ish who actually have the mental strength to free themselves from the spell. If you are one of those, then do it. Even if just for yourself, do it.